Hey guys, it is Tuesday, January 28th, and to lately kick off How To Week, I'm going to show you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Um, so there are lots of ways to solve the Rubik's Cube, um, lots and lots of different ways. This is the way that I learned. This is what, it's a fairly easy method. You only have to um, remember a few patterns, and I apologize if the camera is really jiggly. It's currently attached to my shirt so that I can show you my hands. Um, this was the best way I could do it to get the right angle. So. The first thing you're going to do, and I'm going to have to do this a little bit backwards, but that's okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick a side, and I generally just pick the white one. It will end up on the bottom, so if you have a favorite color, maybe don't pick that one. You can pick the one opposite it if you like. Um, so we're going to start with white. And so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a white cross here, um, and you want to make sure that it lines up correctly. So we already have one in spot or in the right place, so I'm just going to twist it. And now we have the white there and it's lining up with the right red face. Um, and then if we have any on the bottom, which we do, we're going to turn it so that it lines up and then we're just gonna flip it right over so that it's the white is now on top, but this stays lined up. And then here's another one. So this one's on the side and because this side, this one's on the side and because this side isn't completed yet, we can turn it down to the bottom. Actually, huh. And then, yeah, it just moves. You, can, you don't even have to do that. We could just have turned it right on top. And now we have this green one. And so we're going to move it to the bottom. You have the green side here. We're going to move it to the bottom. We're going to move it underneath the green face. Move this side back up. I don't even know if you saw that. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let me rewind this. So it was here on the side. So we moved it to the bottom and then we spun it so that it was now underneath the green side and then we can put this one up back so now this one is back in spot and then this one is underneath so we just have to flip it over. So now we have the cross and if we look at the side all the middles are correct. So that's what matters and now we have to get the corners in place. So the corners are decided, this one's in the correct spot because it's on, it's blue and orange and white. So we just need to do the same for the rest. So this one is green and orange, which will go here. So sorry, this one, ah, camera. This one is green and orange, which will go here. So if we move it over, we can see that it will eventually flip up this way. So we're going to move this side down and then flip this over so that it lines up and then move it right back up and now it's in the right spot. And here's another one. We have green and red Christmas colors and it is also as well going to flip up this way. So we're gonna just slide it out of the way. Make sure when you're sliding it out of the way you slide it on um, the correct way because if you slide it this way and we move this down it's just gonna move back up. So we need to make sure that we're sliding it this way. And then this side goes down, and this side goes up here, and this goes up. So the only one we have left is this one. And it's in the right spot, it's just not orientated correctly. So we're going to move it so that this goes to the bottom. And we're going to twist it so that it actually does stay on the same side. So you can see now We've got this whole face here and it's on the bottom. And then we're gonna flip this back up. And this will slide up here, so we need to just move it out of the way. Aha, come on, this cube sticks. There we go, slide it over. There we go, so the top is now complete. Well, the, this top is now complete. And we've got little T's on all of them. So that is good. So now we flip it over. So now the yellow side is on top. And our next step is to fill in the middle row completely so that it's in the right spot. So what you're looking for is um, pieces that don't have two-sided pieces, not the three corners, but the two-sided pieces that don't have any yellow on them. So this is one. So this actually belongs here. So this pattern is the same, um, just depending on what side it's lined up on, will it'll differentiate. So I will explain in a second. So 
this one will go here. So this we're going to call the middle. This line here is going to be our middle. And it's on the right, so we're going to go to the right first. So we're going to go turn the top to the right, move the middle up, turn the top back to the middle, and then go down. And then you go to the, then you go to the other side of the middle and do the same thing backwards. So or mirrored, I guess, not backwards, mirrored. So away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down. And it is now right there. Um, here's another one. So green, red, and red. So again, away from middle, middle up, try and get this timed up, back to middle, middle down, go to the other side, away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down. And that one is now in the right spot. And here's another one, so orange and green. So we have to spin this back over. And we line it up and then, again, start on the side that it's lined up on. Away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down. Other side, away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down. So that one's all up. And now this one, oh good, we have one on the left. So this one is orange and blue, which will go here. So again, we start on the side that's lined up. This is our middle. And we go away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down, flip to the other side of the middle, and then away from middle, middle up, back to middle, middle down. So now the bottom rows are all done. The next step is to complete the cross on the top. So we want, uh, sorry, flipping my thing and camera and blah. So. I don't know if you guys can see me. Oh, there's cat hairs all over me. Okay, so we want this yellow to be, we want this yellow cross. It, they don't have to line up yet. That's another step. But the first step is to just get all the yellow crosses, the tube-sided yellows um, up top. So you want to find, turn until you find one, in this case, all of them, where sometimes you'll have some on top. They may not be in the right spot, but they're on top. And you want to find one where you have one on the side that should be on top and you're going to pick that side that you want to get on top and you're going to turn it clockwise and then you're going to take the right side and turn that clockwise and then you're going to take the top and turn it clockwise then you're going to take the right side again counterclockwise and then the top counterclockwise and then the front counterclockwise so now it's on top, and usually the one on the right will go on top too. And then you're going to pick another one, and ideally you want it where there isn't one on the right as well. So, or the front, you want one where it's not on the front and not on the right. If there is, you won't usually get three, you usually get them in ones or in twos. Um, no, generally in twos. Sometimes they'll be opposite, but you'll figure it out. Anyway, so this is one. Same thing again. So, front goes clockwise right side goes clockwise, top goes clockwise, right side goes counter, top goes counter, front goes counter. So now we're side by side, so we're going to do it one more time. Same exact thing, don't change the face, just do the exact same pattern again. And there you have it. So we've got the cross. They don't need to line up, don't even worry about that. And then, so once you have that, now we're, going to about, now we're going to make them line up. But first things first, you need to get them on the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to find a side where you have it matched, but the right one isn't. And my personal opinion, make it so that you have one matched and the other three do not line up. Um, you c if you have a couple lined up, do this pattern until you get to this, because as soon as you get to this, you don't have to do it multiple times. So get to the point where you have one and we're going to do now I have to think for a second okay we're going to do right right side up top to the left right side down top to the left right side up top to the left twice right side down and we got it Sometimes it takes multiple tries. Now, again, if I said if you have, let's say, two of them lined up, but the other two aren't, pick a side, do this combination until you get it where only one is lined up and the rest are all mucky, or just turn it until you only until you get to the point where one is only lined up, and then just do that pattern over and over again until you get them all lined up. So we have all of them lined up, and we are on to step six. 
which is to put the corners in the right spot. They're not going to be orientated correctly, we just need them in the right corners. So right now, we have one in the right corner, which is this one. So we're going to put it on the back left, and the back left corner for this pattern will not move. So keep it there, and then the other three will just rotate. So you're, if you have none that match, do the pattern that I'm about to tell you until you get one matching, and then get that corner in the back left corner, so move your cube, don't just move the top, move your cube until you get it in the back left corner, and then do the pattern again until your other three are in the right spot. They will not be orientated correctly unless you're super lucky, um, but yeah, you just make sure that you get them in the right spots. So right now you can see this is yellow, red, yeah, yellow, red, and blue, and we have a yellow, red, and blue cube. So this is in the right spot. You will either have none of them in the right spot, one of them in the right spot, or all of them in the right spot. It, that's the only way this pattern works, I'm fairly sure. So our pattern is, so back left corner, so we're picking the front and we go down, so I should verbalize this, down, uh, right side down, top to the left, left side down, top to the right. Right side up, top to the left, left side up, top to the right. And we got it. So I'll just go over that pattern once more. You're going to take your right side down, twist the top away from the right. Left side down, twist the top away from the right. Right side up, top away, right side up. Left side up, top away. So anyway, you can watch that over again if, it, if that doesn't make sense. Now, so they're all in the right spot. Usually, sometimes it'll take a couple tries, so don't worry if it takes you a while. And now, we're going to orient the right the corners. And none of them are in the right spot, so this is good. Doing this pattern, the front and the back right side will change. The left side will just stay where they are. These are the only two that will change. So, you start with... Now I have to think. Down. So you're going to start with the left side, and you're going to pick left side down, front to the left, left side up, front to the left, left side down, front does a half turn, left side up, right side down, right comes up, down. Okay, so we got them fully lined up. I'll verbalize it better on the last one, I just I couldn't remember the pattern as well, so I wanted to do it quickly. So these two are all perfect, so we're going to do this side now. So again, the pattern is left side down, top to the left, left side up, top to the left, left side down, top to the left twice, left side up, right side down, top to the right, right side up, top to the right, right side down, top to the right twice, right side up. So we need to do this one one more time. So down, left, up, left, down, left, left, up, down, right, up, right, here we go, down, right, right, up. And that is a fully solved Rubik's Cube. Yay! So that's how you take care of that. And now I'm going to drink some tea because I am sick and my throat is sore. So I hope you all found that helpful. Um, this is something that I actually learned via, I'm going to do a little product placement here, this DS game. Nope, that's Pycross, that's not the right one. Hold on. Pull it out of my DS. This DS game, Rubik's World. It has a bunch of games involving cubes, but it teaches you how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. And it is a great little fun game. The, these are the seven steps that I kind of talked you through, and I will just repeat them quickly. The first step, you're going to get the white, you're going to pick your side, so in this case white, Line up the cross, make sure it matches the middle. The second step is to get the corners all right. Third step, you flip it and get the middle. Fourth step, you get the cross on the top. Fifth step, you get the cross in the right position. Sixth step, you get the corners in the right spots. Seventh step, you orientate the corners. And that is it. That is a Rubik's Cube solved. So I really hope you guys found that helpful. Um, tomorrow is another how-to video. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, anywho, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.